Uh, welcome back, everybody. So we're doing a new video today. So we did the reaction to the Nintendo Direct. And now a couple of days have passed and I had some time to think about it and ruminate on my impressions of certain games. So I already did the Super Mario RPG. So in this video, I'm going to give my thoughts and expectations for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So we're going to first start off by watching the trailer and then we're going to talk about the game because there are a couple of things that I do actually uh, want to discuss. So we're going to start it. Onward and upward. Onward and upward, huh? So typical of Mario, the Mario games, very, very colorful, very punchy. So I haven't played a Mario Brothers game in <laughs> decades. So this does look very, very different from what I'm used to playing. But it still looks like Super Mario. But. We'll get to the butts after. Sit your butts back down. So guys, I created a family-friendly uh, playlist, which this one will be on, and as well as all the other Nintendo videos. So the family-friendly gameplay videos or playlist is pretty much it's in all audiences adults kids anybody could watch them there's no swearing there's no drama it's just wholesome good times i don't swear in my videos in general but in these ones there is zero swearing unless you count nutty nutty fudgekins as a profanity nutty nutty fudgekins Oh, fiddlesticks. Is it mirror to those blocks look like Angry Birds blocks? So a huge, huge variety in content in this uh, in this game. So there's one more scene. That's coming out also in October. So we have this one first and then RPG. I guess they put this one out afterwards, closer to the holidays. You know, that way the kids have more time to play during the Xmas. All right. So now, like I said, I haven't played... A Mario game in a very long time. So I really don't know what to expect f uh, from this game. So right away you can you can you can see a big difference in the Mario uh, sprite, the Mario character. So he looks a little bit more crushed down, but instead of him being profile, you see him on. 2.5 angle so that's the first thing that uh notice it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad and those uh, flowers seem to be megaphones that you know give you instructions of what happens in the game so these these uh, color blocks the musical and note boxes used to be uh white in the mario games but they're giving him more of a multicolor now. So these hippos, as far as I know, are brand new to the game. So we have some new different type of platforming. So f f right over here is where I started getting confused about what kind of game this is. So we have seen a, a little bit of verticality in the game going down from down to up, but what we're seeing more of is 
horizontal. And it seems like there's a lot of forward running. Like, yes, Mario is absolutely known for being a forward running game. But this one, for some reason to me, strikes me more as a run running game. Where your goal is to beat the, the level as fast as you can. So Mario games have always had that element, but this one seems more of a uh, speed running type of uh, type of game. And very gimmicky, very gimmicky. See what I mean by it seems like it's a, a runner game instead of a uh, platformer that the Mario games that I'm used to uh, playing where, you know, you have to solve puzzles and stuff like this. So like, you know, you go from this platform to that platform. Yeah, you have to jump out, out of the way of uh, enemies, uh, stomp on the enemies to you know, get rid of them. And there's also a lot, a fair deal of multiplayer as well. So if you have brothers and sisters or friends, you can also play with them. And it looks like you can play it with up to four people. So you know what? You know what it looks. What I feel, it's a party type of game, but a party runner. So I still think the game looks freaking fantastic. I still wonder what the game will be like, and I will very much likely get this game. So my my goal when I get the PlayStation, the Nintendo Switch, hopefully in the f coming weeks, hopefully, I'm going to get Super Mario Odyssey and whatever Od whatever Mario game I can get my hands on. I might also get some of the Metroids. I'm going to also get Donkey Kong but I'm going to focus mostly on all the Mario games. Uh, there's another game... because I'm, I'm, I'm an older gamer, but I started playing games when these things first came out. So I, I know where games started. I've experienced them from day one to where they are today. So I could appreciate all the changes, and I could also be more critical of the games because I know how things were and believe it or not you better believe it because it's the truth people are hungry for a return to simple and fun games because there's a big difference between uh, kid games back then and kid games today kid games back then were fun they also had challenges but whereas today Kid games are sometimes too simple. And worst of all, there, there's a lot of kid games that are stupid. But anyways, I'm just going to leave uh, that uh, over there. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the Super Mario Wonder. It does look very much different than other Super Mario uh, games. Lots of gimmicks. So, what do you guys think? Are you guys excited about Super Mario Bros. Wonder? Are you going to be getting it? Why? Why not? And I do appreciate you guys giving me a few minutes of your time. You can figure it out. I'll see you guys next time.